Alright, uh, we're back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a sig fig rules of multiplication and division. Now, in this, it starts out just like an ordinary problem. Just do the ordinary math. Okay? So, you go through and you do your multiplication like you have since like third, fourth grade. And, um, you know, uh, that's three, that's one, two, three zeros. Then three, and bring down two more zeros. And two, zero, one, two, three. Oh, you're probably saying, man, I wish I had numbers this nice. I'm just picking nice numbers so it doesn't take me long to work the problems out in front of you. Add this up, that's one, and that's three, that's two, that's zero, that's one, that's three, and that's two. All right, once again, once you do this by hand, you know, hopefully you got a calculator. But anyway, that's one, two, three, four, five, six numbers behind the decimal. Y'all seen that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that number makes sense. Now, notice that it's just like multiplication that you already have, and you've been doing since third and fourth grade. There's the answer. But you're not done. We got to do the sig fig rules. How many sig figs are here? There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five sig figs. Now this one's got how many? One, two, three, three. What you do is you'll pick the least amount. Okay, so we want our final answer to have three sig figs. Now, our three most important numbers are always towards the front of it. It's always towards the front. There's one, two, three. Okay, these three are important. Now, once you get those, look to the right. Can you round? That's a zero. Of course you can't round. So our final answer is 2.31. So the rule is you pick the one with the least amount of sig figs, and you start with the very front of the number and work your way down. Now, the only times that this can get, um, you know, confusing is like if you if this number would have been like 23015.67. Uh, Let's say this was the number, and we need to pick three sig figs. Pick three sig figs for our answer. Okay, if that's what they want us to do. Okay, if they want us to pick three sig figs. We pick these three in the front. Okay. Only problem is if we just pick the two, three, and the zero, <laughs> then that's kind of crazy because look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's actually seven sig figs here. We're just picking those three. If we pick just those three, that's really not enough. Okay. And if we wrote down just two and three, that look like 230 versus 23,015.67. Nowhere close. So what you need to do is you need to write this number of scientific notation. So you write down the three, sig, the three sig figs that you have to pick, which is the two, three, and the O. Put a decimal there. Write down times ten. See how many times you had to move it. You had to move it one, two, three, four. Had to move it four times, and that would be your answer. So this is just a crude example, but you know, there you go. Now remember, the rule of five will still apply. If you had two point three one, and the number to the right was a five, okay then when you look to the right it would actually round up because that's an odd that'd be 2.32 but if you would have had uh, 2.32 and the number right to the would have been a 5 then it would have stayed 2.32 just remember the rule of 5 is weird rule of 5 for rounding okay well I hope this helps if you got any more questions just ask in class alright guys Bye.